I need to see what I can do to bring this thing back. I think I can live without the catalyzer decal. That decal can be replaced. Uh, the important thing I need to try to do is bring back these lenses. So I'm going to start with soap and water. The one on this bike, some of these standoffs are cracked up and gone. But I think it'll work fine if it'll clean up. The soap and water took off some of the dirt and grime, but if you look uh, down here, it's like water stained and water drops. The next thing I'm going to try is wax. The wax is not taking the water spots in that spot out. Next up is this. What I think is a very weak polishing compound. The rubbing compound isn't really doing much either. It's definitely on the top. I can feel it with my fingernail if I rub my finger across here. I did try some denatured alcohol on this and it didn't seem to do anything. I think I'm done for now. I've just been going over it with this polishing compound over and over and over. I've probably done it 15 or 20 times. There's a few spots left. A little bit of stuff down on the bottom on this one. This lens seems to have some pitting or just something going on here. And it's not going to come out unless I use I don't know, some 3000 grit or something. I think I'm going to leave it alone uh, and see how it looks after I put it back together. I can always come back to this. This lens came out beautiful. Here's the catalyzer decal being removed. I just pulled this unit out of my spares pile so I can practice on these cracked lenses. This one's cracked. That one looks like it's perfect. And this one's really cracked, but I can use some different compounds and such to practice on these on the plastic to see if I can get that one to come back a little better. And the back piece that came off this one is actually in really good shape. Under here looks to be in really good shape. Again, this is a spare. These gauges look really nice. There's a little bit of a, mm, I don't know, stainy thing here. But this thing is otherwise perfect, as is the tack. This one's got some white stuff on it. I know these things are hypersensitive to cleaning, so I don't think I'll be able to clean that white off if I want to use this one. I'm going to practice on this cracked one with this, which is this. It's 1200-1500 grit, uh, this thin sanding sponge. I think it's going to be a little too aggressive, but I'll see what happens. Yeah, I think that's a bit much. I did this portion right here. Um, I'll take the rubbing compound to it now and see if it comes back, but I think that's a little bit too abrasive. I need something like 3000 grit sandpaper. I've been rubbing and rubbing and rubbing this lens, but I just can't get it to where I want it. It looks pretty good, but you can probably see the etching there I'm trying to get rid of. Now, I just remembered I do have some 3000 grit. 3000 grit sandpaper came with this uh, DA sander kit thing I bought. And I tried it on the practice one over here. Uh, this lens right here, and it came out pretty good. So I'm going to give it a try. Maybe I'll try this little spot right over here. I'm trying to find a way to show you what's going on here. But I'm trying to get the plastic. You can see some lines still. It looks like it's coming around or doing what I want it to if I can buff it out afterwards. That's after sanding with 3000 grit sandpaper. Let me see if I can get it to buff out with the Meguiar's Ultra Cut Compound 105. I was afraid of this. I think that these things do have a hard, uh, a hard coating on them because where it was etched 
it looks absolutely perfect now where I sanded. But outside of that area, no, it doesn't. <laughs> so uh, I think there's a hard coating on this and it's kind of hard to sand off. Where I was able to buff it out in there, uh, the hard coating had been etched off like what you see in the very center of this but the hard coating remains on the rest of this lens. Yuck. I'm gonna go to 2000 grit <laughs> because this is turning into a project. This area where I've sanded is just perfect but then it goes into a little bit beyond that and it looks horrible because there's a coating on the lens. And then I'm going to have to do the same thing to this one. Yeah. This is after sanding with some 2000 grit. I'm trying to get it to look something like that eventually. This has gotten interesting. So this lens, I've gone 2000 grit, 3000 grit, and then the 105 uh, polishing uh, ultra cut compound it looks beautiful. I still have to go to the 205 Ultra Finishing Polish and then put some wax on it. Um, it doesn't have a clear coating on it anymore, but wow, it's clear. And I don't know if you can see. I'll go through the process on this one. I'll try to record. Uh, but it's got the etching. There you can see water spots and that's etched through the clear coating and so I have to take all the clear coating off. This one I can leave alone. This is 2000 grit sandpaper. Here's the fresh one. And this is after 2000 grit. I still have to do uh, some of these spots right in the, this area where it was water etched. This is a fresh piece of 3000 grit sandpaper. I'm going to pick a starting point, this reset button. This is after going over it with 3000 grit. Again, that's the fresh one. 3000 grit. Now I take the compound to it. Here we go with the Meguiar's 105 Ultra Cut Compound. This is a slightly damp microfiber cloth. And I'll have to do this several times, many times. I might even have to hit it with the sandpaper again. Depends how it looks after I do this. Let it dry a little bit and buff it out. pretty good start. Um, it's a little foggy around the outer edges. I see quite a few scratches still. So I may have to hit it with the 3000 grit. I can see right in this area. I'll probably do that. Actually all around here. much better. There's some uh, little bit of fogginess on the outer edge that happened on the other one. I'll just keep rubbing it with the compound now. It's working out. There you go. 
that's uh, that's with the 105 cutting compound. Now I'm going to hit hit it with this 205 ultra finishing polish. This. polish away with this 205. After that, I'm going to put some synthetic wax on it. There we go. It's good. It looks really good. I'm really happy with that. That was a lot of work. <laughs> More than I thought it would be.